I went ahead and filmed at the end when I was done so that you guys weren't scared from my unmakeup face right away. <laughs> there's not a bookshelf behind me it's because we're in my bathroom because I was tagged by Lauren of Offbeat Book Digest to do the makeup book tag where you go through the steps of putting on your makeup there's 11 different questions and each one follows a different part of putting on your makeup for the day and you answer bookish questions while you go through it now keep in mind that I am not a beauty guru or a makeup person the only makeup I know how to do is my own and this is pretty much the look I do every day if you want to see somebody who is much better at makeup and understands things a little bit better than I do go check out my friend Holly over at Hall of Fame, I will link her channel down below. Oh, I'm so sorry that you have to see this. Question number one, primer, a book that left a lasting impression. Do I have to tell y'all what I'm using? Oh, that's e.l.f. primer, it's the poreless face primer. I am not a beauty guru by any means. I don't know if I'm using any of this right or if I'm even using the right stuff for my face, but you know, it's what we got. So this is what we're gonna use. A book that left, left a lasting impression. I wanna say A Court of Mist and Fury because that book just stuck with me so much, but I also don't wanna use that for all my answers. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, that book. I had a book hangover for a couple days after reading that one, so probably that one. Number two, Foundation, favorite first book in a series. I've got a uh, Too Faced, Born This Way in medium to full coverage foundation in color snow because I'm literally the palest person on earth. My favorite first book in a series, Harry Potter, because it was my childhood. It's really hard to put on makeup and, and think and talk. And then I think that if the Twilight series had stopped at the end of the first book, it might have been okay. I liked The Kiss of Deception, that whole The Remnant Chronicles. I liked the first book and then I liked the second book the best and then I really didn't like the third book. So maybe that one. Oh, Red Queen. We're gonna go with Red Queen for this. I liked the Red Queen book one well enough. And then I got like two thirds of the way through, not even two thirds, I got a little bit of the way through Glass Sword and decided that it wasn't for me and I was gonna call it quits on that one. So yeah, Red Queen probably. It may not be my favorite first book in a series of my entire life, but it was of the books I recently read, I vastly enjoyed the first book more than the rest of the series that I chose to read. We're in my bathroom so that I can have light and a mirror. Number three, concealer. The e.l.f. concealer in Fair. Character that you wish you could get rid of. Ianthe, Baron, potentially Eris, all from Court of Wings and Ruin. Obviously the traditional ones from Harry Potter I don't like. Umbridge. Okay, in the Paranormality trilogy, which I just finished by Kirsten White, I liked, I really enjoyed the books. I think that the trilogy overall is probably a four and a half out of five stars, but they introduce a character in the end of the first book and through the rest of the series, she just acts as like a Vivian X Machina through the whole whole series. Powder. Okay, I got this in an Ipsy bag, so it's Naked Cosmetics Banana HD Finishing Powder. Favorite last book in a series. I enjoyed the way that the Winners trilogy wrapped up. I enjoyed the way the Paranormal Malice trilogy wrapped up. I thought it was kind of abrupt how that ended, but it was okay. I really, really wanted to like the way that the Ruminant Chronicles trilogy wrapped up, but it just, I didn't. Eyebrows. Benefit Gimme Brow in like number three. Book you think everyone should read. Illuminate, even if you're not into sci-fi, cause I'm not into sci-fi and I really liked it. Uh, there's something in there for everybody, I feel like. There's adventure, there's romance, action. My brows don't take a lot of work because they're really thick on their own, but I just like to make sure that they stay in their place. Eyeshadow, book with your favorite colors on the cover. I got this palette from e.l.f. I don't know if it has a name, but it's all these colors. Uh, we're just gonna go with it, okay? Well, my favorite color is pink, so Anna and the French Kiss is a pink book. But I have not read that, so I don't know too much about it. I've heard some really cute things about it, and I've heard that there's a lot of problems with it. So we'll find out as we go, and I read that book. 
Geekerella also had some pink on it and some purple. And I really like that look. I just finished it and it was really cute. I may do a video on that here soon. But I thought that was really cute. But it was very similar to uh, Cinder and Ella, which is a audiobook I listened to about two years ago. But it was very, very, very similar to that. So I don't know that I loved it as much as everybody else loved Geekerella, but I definitely enjoyed it. I thought it was very cute. I'm currently reading The Beast is an Animal by Petronel Van Arsdell, the one I had up in a recent video. It was one of my favorite covers because it was so pretty. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's got my favorite color on there because there's not any pink in it. It does have a very enjoyable color scheme to it. Eyeliner, a dark and mysterious book. I've got, I also got this in an Ipsy bag. It's Star Looks Pro Lux Pen Artistic Edition. One end is just your regular little uh, eyeliner pen and I really like it. It's a good eyeliner. And the other end is this little star stamp that's really fun. I can't talk an eyeline. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Beast is an Animal book is dark and mysterious because I'm a couple chapters in and I still really don't know what it's about. I thought it was gonna be Beauty and the Beast retelling, but so far it doesn't seem like that's where the story is going. But as soon as I finish it, I'll update you guys and let you know what that book is actually about. I don't normally do my makeup in my bathroom. Um, I normally do it in my bedroom because I have a whole vanity and everything set up in there. But my room is a mess and there's not very good lighting in there really for me to be doing my makeup in there. Uh, but definitely not good lighting for me to film a video. So I brought all of the makeup I wanted to wear today into the bathroom. Mascara. Pick a long book. This is another thing I got in the Ipsy bag and it, I really like most of the stuff I get in my Ipsy bag. Some of it, not so much, but usually they're pretty on point with what they send me. Is pure, fully charged mascara powered by magnetic technology. I don't know what makes it magnetic. I don't feel like I'm getting attached to the refrigerator when I wear it. But I like the way it looks when I do wear it. And I like that it's travel size so I can toss it out and not feel bad about it when it goes bad. A long book. I think the longest book I've ever read is probably Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That book is just massive. But I've also read Crime and Punishment, which is really, really long. Uh, all all the Sarah J Mouse books are pretty long for young adult. I've, I've realized that most young adult novels that I read tend to float anywhere from three to 500 pages. That seems to be the sweet spot for those, but Sarah J Mouse tends to go longer. And I felt like The Great Gatsby was probably the longest book in the world because it just never seemed to end and I really hated that book. Blush. Pick a book with cringe-worthy romance. I'm using Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Blush Duo in Fuchsia Flushed, it's this, and then when you open it, there's two different shades. I know that you're probably supposed to use the two different shades at two different times, but I just sort of swirl it around. Windrow the Romance Twilight, definitely. Fifty Shades of Grey, definitely. I didn't necessarily enjoy the Love Triangle in the Remnant Chronicles trilogy. I definitely was on one team and not the other. So I wasn't a big fan of how that worked out. So I don't know if that was cringeworthy as much as I just didn't like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do bronzer while I'm, cause that's not an option. And we'll talk about a dark that I didn't like. Uh, Crime and Punishment was really dark, but I liked it. Marley and Me, I don't think was intended to be dark, but it made me sad. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is where we start to see that series go a little darker and adult and it goes from cute happy boarding school adventures with three friends to there's real danger there's a uh, real danger and problems in the world that they got to worry about and there's people legitimately out there wanting to kill them i don't know why i bothered to bring this in the bathroom i'm just using my phone that i'm filming on as a mirror instead of my actual mirror number 10 is Highlighter, pick a book that brightens your day. This is, I think it's Urban Decay All Night Highlighter. It also came in an Ipsy, so it's just a little sample. But this has beautiful color. Um, pick a book that brightens your day. I don't know what it says, but I'm having a hard time thinking of a happy book that I've read recently. Cause I read really, it seems like I'm reading a lot of really sad. Uh, Geekerella had a happy ending. I don't know that it necessarily brightened my day, probably cause I finished it at like three o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna have to toss this one back to the Winners Trilogy as well. I really enjoyed the banter between the main character and her love interest. I thought that it was just enjoyable to read and entertaining. I need to blend my eyeshadow better. They were a cute couple and I enjoyed reading about them. Yes, it was a pretty uh, serious book talking about war and 
class conflicts and everything and it was a really good book I really enjoyed it but when the two characters were together and they were just being playful I liked I liked their banter lipstick name your favorite book kiss this is Stila stay all day liquid lipstick and Bella I really like these lipsticks I have several of them I bought them in like holiday packs where you can get the mini ones you can get like three of the miniature ones for like $24 I think uh, I have several colors now I just I like these they stay all day as the name says I can eat and drink with them and they don't really move that much it doesn't really wear off around the inside of your lips like some lipsticks do and it doesn't dry out my lips I tried the NYX lip lingerie liquid lipsticks and while they're really pretty colors in the tube they don't look very pretty on me and they dry my lips to no end okay makeup is done well enough. Favorite book kiss. I don't, I'm gonna have to give this to A Court of Mist and Fury as well because anytime Feyre and Resander are together and they're being cute and loving, I'm a big fan. I did not read the short stories with Cassian and Nesta. I know that it exists, I've not read it, but I know that they like kiss in there and I feel like if I'd read that, maybe that one because I love those two and I think that they are so perfect together. But other than that, yeah, I don't know that I really have one. Okay, so that's basically how I do my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis when I bother to do my makeup. But I am going out to lunch slash dinner with a friend later today. So I needed to do my makeup anyway and I needed to film a video. Like I said earlier, this is basically the makeup I wear every day of my life. I'll change the lipstick out, maybe. I hope that this was interesting. As always, I have all my social media links down below. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Kick, and Goodreads, so we can read all the books and be best friends. Bye, guys!